Jesus is king. Is the FBI coming to a parish near you? Are there infiltrators behind every locked door, behind every rock? Is there an FBI agent going to pop up behind the parish welcome sign? Today on the Guild Family Stream. Let's talk about this situation that has arisen. Um, as like normal, the first part of this stream will be public. We'll release the first 10 minutes or so. If you want to have the whole conversation, you have to become a guild member. Go to patreon.com slash meaning of Catholic. We are switching over announcement. We're, we're switching over to uh, a more or a less woke system, God willing, very soon. It's just a lot of technical difficulties. But if you go to meaningofcatholic.com slash register, you can become a guild member that way. Um, and I was talking with Tim Gordon about the situation that he was dealing with with Patreon. So we are going to set up um, locals and or um, subscribe star um, and or have our own system. Totally. We're just working on that. Um, shout out to our webmaster. Um, you know who you are. Thank you for all your good work. He is a volunteer. He's volunteering to our apostolate. Um, so we really appreciate his good work. So thank you very much. Um, so let's talk about the FBI. So if you haven't heard already, the FBI, there was a leaked memo from uh, FBI whistleblower Kyle Serafim. He was fired from the FBI for doing whistleblower activity. I believe it was last year where he was he uh, leaked that the FBI was, um, what was the initial leak? I can't, I can't remember. I'm, I'm running on lack of sleep here, but there's been many, many different um, whistleblower complaints. Um, and this is, let's see, today, right now, it's the first day of congressional hearings into the FBI's corrupt behavior. So they've been having these, tips all these various whistleblowers going on um saying that the fbi is being weaponized to target conservatives and so this is just one more thing and in this case catholics were mentioned in various catholic organizations and they even invented an acronym which i think is hilarious it's hilarious that they had invented an acronym called rtc radical traditionalist catholic so if you're an RTC, you are a threat, and the FBI is going to come after you. You're an RTC, <laughs> so we should all. I think we should all adopt it as a badge of honor, including uh, like non-trad Catholics. We should all just say, "I'm an RTC." It's like a I am Spartacus moment. So that's <laughs> just, ah, oh, man, that that just really, it just really cracked me up. Um, so. Uh, so what's what's happening is um, the, and various Catholic organizations have been targeted and identified as RTCs, and um, they're just using the old, you know, the thing that they do always to target Catholics and other sane people who are against the woke regime of unborn Holocaust and all the wickedness that they're promoting um, is that, you know, they just oh, you're a right supremacist, you are a anti-Semitic, you're X, Y, Z, whatever they want to, whatever their Marxist ideology wants to use, they use that against you. And so, uh, so this is, as I said, this is just, uh, just a, one more FBI corruption uh, evidence. Um, what's really interesting about it is that immediately the FBI did damage control. And that that was surprising to me. I I didn't I didn't didn't know how quickly they would do it, um, but they immediately rescinded the document. But what's interesting is that they confirmed that it's authentic. They did not they did not deny that it was an FBI document. They so they didn't go into denial mode, and I think that it suggests that. Um, well, it doesn't say, it really confirms. It confirms that the document is absolutely authentic. It's definitely an FBI document. It was definitely disseminated. So they can't just deny it. They, they, they can't deny it because the evidence is there. There's too much of a paper trail. They can't deny it. So they confirmed that it was real. And then they said, it doesn't meet the exacting standards of the FBI. And Eric Sammons, as he often does, um, said, well, it doesn't, 
meet these exacting standards because it was leaked, obviously. <laughs> Oops. Oopsie. You know, FBI. Oopsie. We, we let that out. So that, clearly it's not a good FBI document. It doesn't represent the true FBI, of course. You know, uh, so, you know, the, this type of uh, nonsense, that statement they give, they're, they're caught with their pants down. They can't do anything but say, oh, well, that's not the real FBI. Yeah, it was our document. Yes, we disseminated it. But that doesn't really represent the good FBI, which is fighting for justice and fighting for LGBTQRST rights and all this great stuff. So um, this is uh, this is the situation we're in. Um, so let's talk a little bit about um, the the some of the organizations that uh, were featured in the RTC hit list, the FBI's most wanted. Um, I'm very sad that um, none of the organizations that I work with did not, we did not make the list. We're not Catholic enough, apparently. So we'll try to work on being more Catholic to try to make the list of RTCs. Um, and we'll talk a little bit more about these things. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about their tactics and uh, what you guys think. So, at the this is the end of the public portion. So what we'll do is we'll we'll cut this off right now. If you want to have a conversation about it, talk more about all this craziness and about anything else you want, you have to become a guild member. As I said, meaningofcatholic.com/slash/register.